constantly proven its absolute indispensability. The Philippine National Red Cross, since the very beginning, has consistently broadened its scope of service to include the alleviation of all forms of suffering. In time of peace, it has proven its value in meeting the emergency needs caused by disasters and calamities. Even as the havoc itself rages, the Red Cross is already speeding on its way to perform its errand of mercy. The disaster preparedness and relief service of the Philippine National Red Cross follows closely in the wake of destruction, attending to the hapless victims in need of immediate aid, such as food, clothing, shelter, and emergency medical care. Besides rendering aid in material terms, the Red Cross does more by extending sympathy and comfort to the less fortunate and giving the assurance that it is ready to help them to their feet so they can start life anew. To carry on this responsibility, the Red Cross reaches into every nook of the archipelago through the nationwide network of chapters and sub-chapters where disaster preparedness and relief committees are organized. Thus, upon the occurrence of disaster, Red Cross personnel are immediately on their way to alleviate misery and distress. In the event of emergencies, the various entities of the Red Cross in all parts of the country move as one to minister to the victims. Food, clothing and medicine are immediately dispatched to the scene of disaster. Relief materials are transported by the Red Cross in ships and bankas over rivers and seas and transported by air. In towns, barrios and cities, wherever disaster strikes, whenever the need arises, the Red Cross rushes to the side of the victims when aid is needed most. During the emergency period, immediately following a disaster, the Red Cross surveys the extent of the damage, performs rescue work, evacuates casualties to hospitals and medical stations, distributes food, arranges for the victims to communicate with their relatives, and helps them secure further aid from other sources. Fires, typhoons, shipwrecks, floods, tornadoes, these have caused death and destruction, misery and want. But a prompt and efficient hand extended by the Red Cross has made the blows less telling. The Red Cross shoulders the need of the unfortunate who fall victims to the onslaughts of the elements and of circumstance, and it is the duty of every citizen to share in this great but noble burden. Suffering takes on many forms. There are those who may not show scars, but are nevertheless in need of help. The Red Cross is present to give that help through the home service section, which aids families and individuals particularly veterans, servicemen and their dependents in overcoming personal and family problems and in securing aid from other agencies. Because there are not enough doctors and nurses in the country, medical care is frequently unavailable to many, particularly those in the remote rural areas. The Red Cross Nursing Service remedies the situation by conducting an educational program designed to promote and maintain community health. Through free classes in the care of the sick at home, every member of the family is taught what to do when illness strikes until professional medical aid can be availed of. Infant mortality is still high in our country and the Red Cross Nursing Service seeks to check the situation by holding free classes in mother and baby care. The Red Cross, as stipulated in its charter, also promotes such other services as may be found desirable in improving the health, the safety, and the welfare of the people. The safety services section of the Red Cross is devoted to arousing safety consciousness among the population and offers free courses in accident prevention, water safety, and first aid 
and teaches people how to cope with emergencies and accidents prior to professional medical attendance. The Red Cross conducts the National Blood Program, which collects, processes, and stores blood and makes blood available to all those in need of it. Blood is essential in the struggle for life. The National Blood Program has been instrumental in saving thousands of lives all over the islands. Records show that every 15 minutes, someone's life somewhere in the Philippines is being saved with Red Cross blood. The giving of blood to save a fellow man's life is characteristic of the Red Cross humanitarian spirit. Red Cross blood is the chain that links all men, irrespective of race, creed, and social station, into a brotherhood of charity and neighborliness. As the Red Cross serves our servicemen in time of war, so does it serve our servicemen in time of peace. The military welfare service operates primarily for the benefit of the personnel of the armed forces of the Philippines and their dependents. The service supplements recreational facilities and activities in the field and in army hospital theaters and wards, besides helping solve personal problems, rendering incidental personal services, and working for the rehabilitation of our servicemen. The Red Cross is not content with attending to the needs of the present. It seeks to further human welfare by investing in the youth who are the citizens of tomorrow. In search of a world less troubled by mistrust and conflict, the Red Cross realizes that its most dynamic weapons are in the hearts of the youth. It is to the youth that the Junior Red Cross is dedicated. Service activities of the Junior Red Cross have to do with, among other things, citizenship development, community health programs, and world friendship. In line with its world friendship program, the Junior Red Cross carries on exchange activities with organizations of other countries, thus guiding the youth to the path of true service and international understanding for peace. In the performance of its errand of mercy, in shouldering the responsibility of ministering to the needs of the distressed, the needy and the suffering, the Philippine National Red Cross needs your unstinted support. At this very moment, there are thousands of our brothers who are in dire need of aid and sympathy. Disaster and calamities are events only the Almighty can foretell. Floods, typhoons, tornadoes, earthquakes, fires, the many personal calamities that overtake individuals every day, these we are powerless to stop but soothing the wounds that they leave are certainly within our scope. Let us rally behind the Philippine National Red Cross. You are the concern of the Red Cross. The Red Cross is your concern. You make Red Cross service possible. The errand of mercy is yours. <laughs>